Make me a reservation at, at this fancy place. <laughs> Does um, it not need a reservation? What's, what y'all having about? Good mythical morning. Italian food comes in all shapes and sizes and price points from frozen to fancy and everything in between. It's been commodified. Well, you pulled that right out of your butt. <laughs> yeah, I did. We've done it with Chinese food and today we're gonna decide if expensive is really better. What's the sweet spot for grabbing the best Italian food for your buck? It's time for Naked Food. Naked Italian Food Edition. Naked. <laughs> yeah, all this Italian food is gonna be naked. Stripped of its accoutrements. <laughs> it's gonna be commodified. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, so we've judged it based only on the dish itself. Yeah, we'll be tasting it. Well, we it. haven't judged anything. Well, we will have. That's what, that's what we will we have We will done. have judged it. Yeah. By the time you're watching this, we will be judging it. We'll be tasting Italian dishes from four different price points, all of which will have no frills or specific presentation at all. They are the grocery store freezer section. Yeah. Then fast casual restaurants like yeah. Domino's and Sabaro. Okay. Casual sit down restaurants like Olive Garden and CPK. That's short for California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. And two of the fanciest fine dining Italian restaurants in Los Angeles, Rosso Blue and Il Pastello. Oh, we'll pick our favorite dish, and then Stevie's going to reveal where our favorites are from and how much they cost, so that in the end we will know how expensive each of our tastes are in Italian food, and overall what's really worth paying for. Buongiorno! This is spaghetti and meatballs. Emphasis on the meatball on this first one. Good gosh, look at the cross section on that puppy. That's a lot of meat. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go for a quarter of that. Be kind of Not a lot of sauce on this one. Nope. Light on the sauce, heavy on the ball. I like it. That's a good ball. I mean, it's not great. I'll go full ball on this one. <clears throat> a lot more sauce here, and it, it looks like the, oh. the the sauce has been mixed into the spaghetti. That has a dog food quality to it. Doesn't it? The, the meatball tastes like dog food, which means you'll probably like it. Because you like animal food. I couldn't really taste the meatball. It's kind of tasteless. Now, I would guess that this is fancy, because look at those noodles, man. Oh, I just tasted that meatball. Not good. This looks like some hand. This is some thick noodle. Hand noodles. These noodles are thickness. Mm. Oh, and a little spicy. And those meatballs are not just beef. They've got some other things in there. I like you that. Yeah. <laughs> now this looks great. I'm this, just joking. It just kind of looks. This looks pretty simple. I'm, I'm going to eat off the same. Same ball that you ate off Good. of. Well, All right. I, oh, it's way too much. Eat, eating noodles is cumbersome. Way too much pasta. I'm gonna drop some of this pasta onto this plate. This meatball kind of looks like the first meatball, but it doesn't taste nearly as good. These two, these two are definitely better, but this is a pretty. I mean, no bones about it, man. That was the best one. Exactly. No bones about it. Number one is my favorite. What um, do you think it is? I think that's. I think this is probably the most expensive, Mr. Fancy Pants. This here. might be like Sabaro. I think this is. Uh, this is. Uh, oh, this is my yeah. next down, like one tier down. Yeah, you're both correct. So the oh. first one is Olive Garden spaghetti and meatballs for sixteen seventy eight. Olive Garden. Then next you have Stouffer's classic spaghetti with frozen meatballs Ooh, for two sixty nine at Target. Sick 'em, boy. Then you have Il Pastayo's bucatini con polpette della nona. For twenty one ninety five, yeah. and Sabaro's spaghetti and meatballs for seven eighty nine. And uh, Rhett, you did choose the fanciest one, so it's time for a fancy pants dance. Already this early. <laughs> this is chicken Alfredo. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, that it is. <laughs> It is. And they're all four different. totally different. This one's got like some yellow egg noodle bull snips. <laughs> it's good though. The noodles are good. The chicken is a little undesirable. The chicken's just too 
simple. It's like a chicken stroganoff situation. Now this, oh, this looks fabulous, doesn't it? <laughs> right out of the frozen box, yeah. it seems. Kind of pasty and milly. And with the addition of the broccoli, that is being demoted. Yeah, you don't need to, don't don't complicate it. Don't put broccoli in there, you okay? My my fork tried to jump out of my, my fahan. My fahan, ooh, mm. This tastes good. It's good? It's, it's, um, it's salty, it's garlicky. I gotta it's, taste those two again, but ooh, get that, this one. You don't even know if that's your favorite? Now this one looks, what I would call rustic. Thanks for cutting that. Why are you gotta come, I mean, there's, look how big the thing is and you're gonna right here where I'm going. Cause if you're if you're cutting some of the chicken, look, cut some of it for me too. It feels like you also have a fork. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing again and drop some. Hmm, kind of bland. This one right here is is clearly a winner for me. I don't. It just tastes dramatically better. The actual um, I'm gonna sauce. I'm gonna spend a little bit more quality time. Really good here. Pull up a chair. Make me a reservation at, at this fancy place. <laughs> Does um, it not need a reservation? What's what y'all having about? Reservations optional. How much? How much are you going to eat before you vote? You know you. Want I actually it. think that I prefer this one. I I do not like the chicken, but the noodles are very good. So I'm. So it's I'm, different. Okay, what do you what do you think about your choices? I think this might I think this might be Olive Garden. No, I think that's the fanciest because it's so strange. It's pu pushing too hard. And Link, you believe yours is a place. I'm probably that still at Olive Garden. <laughs> okay, so the first one is Il Pestaio's oh. Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo for twenty five sixty eight. The second is Stouffer's Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo two forty nine at forty eight at Walmart two fifty. Yep. Link, you are digging the Domino's chicken Alfredo <laughs> for six ninety nine. dollars Domino's? And that the final, is good, Domino's. The final one in all, is Olive Garden's chicken Alfredo for nineteen forty nine. dollars I'd um, like a table by the window, Mr. Domino. Yeah, that's pretty much anything in the front. <laughs> we're going to have to... Um, we're gonna have to fancy pants dance it again, Rhett. Oh, oh, you know, it's okay. okay. Domino's, oh, let okay, me okay, tell oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, he's gonna start just choosing the one he thinks is fanciest just for that. I was sure that that was the fancy one because it's a big chicken, man. I, I thought this might be like Sabaro or something, but I liked it the best. You know where to I find it. I can't me. help it, I got good taste. This is pepperoni pizza. Oh, and before we eat it, I wanna invite you to go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel because Josh and Nicole, they're at it again with unboxing recipes. Yeah. Actually, they're taking Ritz crackers and making the better recipe out of the two things, so check that out. Uh, I love stuff with Rich Crackers yeah. in them. Rich, yeah. Rich is good. And they also have a podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, where they debate food debates with each other as they're debating. Check it out, wherever they podcast. Grab a slice. Like I will, that. and I'll eat it. See how easy that was? That's a sweet sauce. I think that might be Domino's? A little bit spicy. Which I like, I like all pizza. That's good, but That's real good. This has got these fancy pepperonis on it. Are they fancy or are they just little and curled? <laughs> That's good. The, the pepperonis are so overwhelming. I can't, I can't taste anything else. It's a little, a little salty. Boy, it is salty. And this one? This one's thin. The crust, I think, might be the star of this one. That's a well-balanced piece of pizza. A bit crunchy. That's a good piece of pizza right there. That thin yeah. crust. That right there is nothing but salty pepperonis. I can't taste anything else. I think that's the fanciest. Wait a second. I think this might be the fanciest. Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's not bad. That is a thick slice a frozen pizza. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not one of the best. It comes down mm -hmm. to um, these two, but this is just too salty. So I'm 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 on team. Uh, thin, I almost voted pizza. for one, but this is great. What do you think it is? Um, 
They got a wood fired oven at Olive Garden. That might be CPK, honestly. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, CPK. it is. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's CPK hand tossed pepperoni pizza for fifteen ninety nine, and then from Rhett's side we have Domino's pepperoni pizza yeah. for fourteen forty nine, Rosso Blues pepperoni pizza yeah. for twenty five, and then CPK, and then DiGiorno Woo. Rising Crust pepperoni pizza. Five nineteen. Yeah, man. This this CPK. I always order something. Well, what I would call fancier from CPK. That is that is still a but really good pizza, nice... but it's just it was so much salt, like just too much. I couldn't blew it. it. Couldn't take it. This is chocolate cake. This is chocolate cake. Mm. <laughs> wow. Aha! You got I, wanted the, the, what, I wanted to tip. You can have the tips on those because you're closest to them. Oh, that's a spongy. <laughs> Not great. Weirdo. Not what? horrible, but I'm I'm very intrigued by this. Look at all oh. those layers. Oh, that's good. It's, what what is, is that? Like a cream cheese? Yeah, maybe. Wow, that's good. That's rich. But I don't think that that's the fancy fancy one. I don't know, but it's very good. Oh, you don't think yeah. that's Domino? I don't think it's Domino's necessarily. What is this, a, a powdery cake? That's a flourless chocolate cake. All right, I gotta redeem this one because that one's better than this one. Which I, I typically like flourless chocolate cake, but something about that is like, it's missing something. Like I need a sauce on that. It's missing a key ingredient, like flour. Yeah, I'm coming. Now this one. Coming on the back side of this one. This one is. It's got a darkness to it. This is like a, a wet brownie. Like if you spilled water on a brownie, that was like a little too hard, but then it got kind of wet on top. Yeah, exactly that. This one is this one is so fun. That is, that is a really, really tasty dessert. So interesting. I gotta vote for that too. And it's from, oh, I was asking if you knew where it was from. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Not the frozen okay. suction. It's from Olive Garden. Olive, Olive Garden? What? It's OG, OG bringing it. Chocolate doing it. lasagna for seven ninety nine. Yeah. And oh. then You're doing something right there. From Red Side, we have Pepperidge Farms frozen chocolate fudge layer cake for two eighty two. Yeah. Not this, bad. And this is what this is. Even though I spit it out the first That's time. That's the fine dining yeah, restaurant. This is the fancy El Pasayo. place. Uh, flourless chocolate cake for ten twenty five, and then Sbarro's chocolate cake for three twenty five. Sbarro wasn't bad. The thing about dessert, the the fancier the place is, the, the more than likely the desserts aren't going to be good. I don't I, I don't agree with that. I'm a huge fan of flourless chocolate cake, but usually it needs to have something with it. I, oh, but, but this right here, the, Olive mm. Garden, y'all doing something right in the dessert factory. Okay, guys, I have your your meal totals. Uh huh. And Rhett. You have spent seventy one sixty one okay. for your Italian meal. That's not a bad night. Link, you've spent forty seven seventy five. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna spend that extra money on uh, going back to Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Ivanska. I'm Viviana. And we're from Puerto Rico. And we just drove two hours to taste Bluebell ice cream for the first time. It's okay. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ah, that seemed a little pre-planned. A little pre-planned. You know you loved it. Click the top link to watch us test a bunch of stupid pizza cutters and good mythical boys. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. It's gonna be a classic all butter pie dough, but ours is gonna have the beautiful buttery uh, flavor. Who gives you permission to I, act You know, way? the sad thing is, is like, this isn't like a bit. This is how I cook at home, and I feel like you know that.